guys, it's Shell TTC Bella, and I know it's been a while, which I don't think it's been that long, but I just came home from school, and before I stepped foot in the house, I said, let me give you guys an update. Um, I can't really remember what weeks I left off on, but I'm going to pick up on weeks 14, 15, and 16, if you guys don't mind. Um, so, let's get with it. Weeks 14, I was still experiencing the nausea but less vomiting thank you god so i was experiencing the nausea and this is when my heartburn kicked into full gear to the point where my new best friend is zantat i have these all over the house um i week 14 i didn't uh throw up too much it was more or less if I ate too fast and you know when you burp after you eat that residuals that would come up I would kind of spit out get rid of and 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 keep it pushing so it wasn't something serious like the weeks prior I had to take medication uh, for my nausea and stuff like that week 15 was a crazy week it went fast but it was a crazy week and week 15 get this you guys I changed my doctor again this is my third doctor since I've been pregnant. If I don't like the way you treat me, if I don't like your treatment, I'm paying for it. I will leave your practice. I have no problem leaving your practice. I just feel like when it came to my depression, my doctor wasn't taking it serious. And I, at that time, I really felt like I needed some help. I needed to speak to someone. To me, the way I felt, it was severe. It wasn't severe enough like I'm going to end it all and jump off a bridge, but it was severe enough where I was questioning whether I should be pregnant or not. Like, do I really need to be pregnant or not? Should I, do I deserve to be pregnant or not? You know, maybe I need to check into a hospital and stay there or, you know, maybe I just need to pack my bags and leave my kids here and go to a hotel for a little while. It was like really bad, you guys. I just felt... I just felt alone, but I felt like I had to distance myself from everybody, if that makes sense. Um, also, in week 15, I was experiencing pelvic abdominal pains. To the point where Steve was like, listen, we need to go head to the hospital because this is not right. You're not eating. You're doubled over. You know, you just, I just wasn't in a good condition. Upon going to the hospital, uh, they did some blood work. Everything came back good, except my, I think, uh, I can't remember. A couple of things were low, but I was, I was hydrated. I was good. They took my urine. My urine was damn near transparent, but they still gave me an IV. They gave me some Tylenol and other stuff for pain that was not harmful to baby. Um... And I, they also did an ultrasound. And the ultrasound tech kept on asking me, are you sure you're just 15 weeks? And I'm like, uh, yeah, based off of the last date of my cycle, this is an IVF pregnancy, I'm pretty sure I'm 15 weeks. And she explained to me that baby is big. Uh, I think she said the baby measured 17 weeks. She did the little head and the legs and stuff like that. And she's like, baby measures 17 weeks. I think she said 17 weeks and two days, which is I, I like it's good because I don't know if I told you guys I have not and I know some of y'all are gonna be like what was Shell thinking I have not been taking prenatal vitamins and I'll get to that I'll get to that um the changing of my doctor was because you know like I said I didn't feel like I was getting the treatment and this doctor is against repeated c-sections I already had two he is not going to do another C-section. He feels because I've already had a natural pregnancy with serenity. Um, I'm able to dilate. I'm able to push a baby out. He said that if I was not able to push a baby out or I've never had a natural pregnancy, then he would be more with doing a C-section. But because I've had a natural birth, he, my body should already know what to do, even though it's been 16 years. Um... Now to the prenatal vitamins. 
I've tried six different vitamins. I want to say two different gummies, capsules. I've tried liquid prenatal vitamins. I've ordered something from the UK as a prenatal vitamin, and they all repeat. They make me very nauseous. It has a strong iron taste to it. Um, so I started drinking like prenatal vitamins. I, I mean, drinking insures and nutrients. I started um, taking a multivitamin that has less iron in it. Um, but it's, I'm not taking a prenatal vitamin. So when they tell me the baby looks healthy, my blood work come back good, the baby's measuring okay, it definitely, it definitely warms my heart that the baby is getting what it needs. And also when they do the baby's measurement, they're able to tell you the estimated weight of baby. So I have not gained any weight. I did gain back the weight that I lost. Um, before pregnancy, I was too... Well, I'm sorry 172 I dropped down to 161 and now I'm back up to 172 so I did not gain any extra weight than what I already had Ugh, I do miss my flat tummy that I used to have post pre-pregnancy because I can't fit any of my nice clothes so I'm pretty much walking around with big t-shirts leggings and flip-flops all my other pregnancies, and I know I'm beating off the trail, but I'm we're, we're still on week 15. All my other pregnancies, I was able to wear sneakers my whole pregnancy. This one, sneakers just irritate my feet. Don't want my feet to be closed in at all. So now on to week 16. Week 16, I forget everything. If I left something on the stove, um, like I was making coffee or tea you know the other day I was making tea and I had the tea kettle on the stove and I forgot the tea kettle was on the stove um, I turned on the shower went to go get something forgot the shower was on uh, a show will go on commercial and I would say okay well I'll turn to this show until this one come back on and then later I would be like shit I missed this show because I didn't go back to it so the, I got the pregnancy brain going on and uh oh the results and i know i'm all over the place i'm sorry but the results of the hospital when i went to the hospital at week 15 was pretty much the pain they say was from baby trying to spread out and find a comfortable place to land so they basically chalked it up to growing pains and left it at that um i don't know you guys i don't know i feel like this pregnancy is going quick but it's not going quick enough. I want it to hurry up. I'm getting these severe headaches. I don't know if any of you other pregnancy ladies are getting them, but I get these headaches, I wake up with them, and I'm all congested all in this area where I feel like I can't breathe, and Tylenol is not helping. It's not helping when I take Tylenol, and Sally, because you're pregnant, there's nothing much else you can really take out of breath I'm out of breath all the time feel like I can't catch my breath and oh yeah I'm a stomach sleeper so I do still kind of sleep on my stomach and I know I'm not supposed to and in the middle of the night I'll catch myself on my stomach and I'll kind of roll back over and uh but that's pretty much it you guys like it, it ain't really nothing much of anything that's any different that been going on I don't have any crazy food cravings I just pretty much, I feel like my cravings are more or less the normal person cravings. I don't have a, a food preference like, yeah, yeah, I need to go eat this or Subway sandwiches are my favorite food right now and stuff like that. I did do a pregnancy no-no the other day for two days. I was craving sushi and I caved in and went and got me some sushi. And my doctor pretty much was like, yeah, don't ever do that again. You shouldn't eat sushi while you're pregnant, but it's not going to kill you to eat it one time. So I did go and eat me some sushi. And after that, I was happier than a fat kid in the cake store. Uh, what else? I, I don't want to miss anything, you guys. I mean, I, I think I pretty much touched on everything. If any of you pregnant ladies have any signs, symptoms, or anything like that and you know 
you feel like you can relate to the symptoms I'm having, whether it been been depression, I'm not experiencing the depression anymore, uh, too bad as severe as I was before, but my doctor did put me on medication. I have not taken the medication. I just have it sitting on my dresser, and I, if I feel a day where, hey, this depression is kicking back in, then yeah, I will result and take the medication. But at this point, I just have it, and I'm trying to cope, and that's all I'm pretty much doing at this point. Okay, you guys, I need to get in here. I have midterms, I have homework, and I have dinner to cook. So, let me get back to life. Bye.